Hello there, boys and girls. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get Arctic Client. A very, very good client. Has a lot of features that only paid clients have. Before we do this, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to be doing this in every video because... I can. I want to get a thousand subscribers by the end of the year because I feel like that'll be a Meow. moment. Basically, if we get a thousand subscribers by the end of the year, it'd just be cool. I'm not gonna do anything. It'd just be cool though, right? Like, come on, two days ago, I had like 66, like 666 or something. So I don't know what the fuck happened. But yeah, thank you for the recent support. And let's actually get into the video. It will. So first thing you're gonna need is something called Metal Loader. I think a lot of you know what this is by now. So click this right here, and then click desktop or something, click save. Once you've done that, go into the link in the description, and then basically you want to go into install, and this is where the actual client is. Whoa! Since we're installing the Metal Loader one, we install the Metal Loader one. Do not install this one. Okay, good. Okay, install this. I continue. There we go. If you're having problems installing, go into here, here, type virus. Virus, type virus. What? Fuck, how do you... There we go. Threat protection, manage settings, and then turn this off. You can turn it on later, it's just because it might have some problems because it false flagging and shit like that. If you don't trust me, then you can leave now. I don't, I don't care. Now you've done that, what do you do? Get WinRAW. Oh yeah, let me show you that. If you haven't already, I recommend WinRAW. You can only install it afterwards, but it basically, I would keep it if I was you. It's just good to extract zip files. So right here is a zip file. Since it's WinRAW, you just open it, and you can take it out like that, and then you got your files. Ooh, I recommend it a lot. I'll put it in the link description, don't worry. Go into Steam, Manage, Browse Local Files. Route. The next thing you gotta do is Melon Loader. You click it, then click Select, and VR Chat, and install. Good job, you can install Metal Loader. Go into client files, and then generally this is what you do. Select all of this, drag them in to the VR chat folder. There you go, you've got Arctic. <laughs> that is so simple, it used to be so different. Okay, so now you just click play, desktop, and then play. Oh, you can click VR, I don't give a shit. You're gonna wait until Metal Loader installs, so I'll come back when it does, cause um, I'm not gonna bore your little, little impatient asses, so bye bye. Okay, if you see this, Arctic is installed. If you see this, even better. Okay, there we go. Oh yeah, you need a key. To get a key, you need to go into the actual server again, grab a key, and then you just go key, and then you click enter. I'm not going to click enter again. I don't want to get banned. I don't know if I, what would happen if I did again. But anyway, once that happens, you'll get a message from the Glow King bot, and it'll be a key right here. Mine will blurred out for the simple reason you got to get yourself. You copy this key, and then you go sh into the control panel, control V into that, and then enter. Once you do that, you should hear some music, some stuff, and then you see this. That means you have Arctic, my friend. You're welcome. So, I'm going to show you some features right now. If you open the menu, it do be looking like this. I know it's a lot and then if you go into avatars you have search you got favorite so you know you got scene in world which is sick but anyway if you want an avatar you just click favorite and it goes into there i'm not gonna be an eagle i can explain um i'm a virgin is there a mirror here i i actually don't there we go. Okay. You see this right here? This is Arctic. We click it and you get all your options. So these buttons, if you click restart game, it'll restart the game instantly. Like the actual full game, I mean VR chat itself. Then if you click close game, it'll close the game instantly. And rejoin, it'll instantly rejoin the game. Okay. Base. You got change to avatar. Change to avatar ID. Join by ID. Delete portal. Mirror. Basically, you just click this on mirror. And a mirror will pop spawn right in front of you. Like, oh, there it is. See, it's uh, right here. Wait. You can grab it. Oh, God. this is trippy as fuck. You got your fly speed, all that, so you can fly. But I wouldn't, I won't really need to fly because the reason you don't really need to, you have something called. Oh shit! Didn't mean to do that. I'm fucking. I'm fucking gay. You don't really need to do that because you can just click, hold spacebar or jump on VR, and you just. This is called infinite jump. It's really fucking useful. And you can use it in any world. So like, you just go wee. You, you get it. Okay, you get it. Recam upside down. Wait, what, what the fu- What the fu- Ahem. 
Anyway, we got ESP shit, we got bone shit, ghost mode, fake lag, we got spam, spam, orbit, we got all this shit, to be fair, I don't know what half this stuff does. Toggles, you got FPS spoofing and ping spoofing, this sh pickup stuff, you got like portal shit, hide quest, restart and update, all that shit. Hide quest, I, I'm guessing it just hides quest users, I, I don't know, you might want to check that out. World hacks and stuff, respawn loop, all that goody goody. You yeah. Target. Basically, you can click target on someone and you get to do all this shit to them. So, you know, you can like sit on them, you can copy shit, you can orbit player, bomb player, player bomb, sit on objects, all that goody goody. World history, this is just shit. Ooh, ooh space. That was terrible. No, I'm guessing this is so you can talk to other players. I don't think. I, I really don't know. But yeah, it's nocturnal chat, so it's cool. Save config, that's so you can save all your settings. UI, this is to change all this shit right here. Loggers, you can see who joins, all that good stuff. Discord, this is just a Discord, and don't really matter about that. Tags, you can add tags, remove all tags, and stuff like that. Anti crasher, if we go into our game, you can see some more options. Oh yeah, this looks sick, by the way. Look at this shit, you got rain. <laughs> Give the war to the African. We'll pause right there. Okay, once you're in the world, we. So you can target, you can talk, teleport, you can do it. You can force clone, that's sick. Copy ID, whitelist, because whitelist and crusher. So basically, all the particles come on for them. Don't do this to people you don't know. Log shaders. You get drift, it's pretty fucking sick. Anyway, you can try this client out. I recommend it a lot. This client's sick. There's always going to be updates for it too, because the developers really do care about this fucking client, which is sick. And I'm getting spat on my game. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hopefully, you enjoy this client. Don't be a dick with it. And yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>